In the FLOWERA trial, osimertinib was compared to a first-generation ETF receptor, TKA. Survival was a, one of the key secondary endpoints. The median survival was prolonged for osimertinib compared to the control arm with a prolongation of the median survival from 31.8 up to 38.6 months. And this corresponded to a hazard ratio of 0.799. These data support the clinical efficacy of osimertinib. We have seen already that it improves progression-free survival, which has been the primary endpoint. And I think it underlines the value of the treatment. It's a highly effective third-generation agent. It is effective in a couple of difficult situations, for example, brain metastasis. So it definitely will support the use of osimertinib as a first-line opportunity for patients with EGF receptor mutation. There is a debate how to sequence treatment because originally osimertinib was developed as an agent targeting the resistance mediating mutation, the T790M mutation, and we have seen very long survival times for patients initially treated with a first generation agent or a second generation agent, and then in case of the existence of a T790M mutation, receiving the relapse treatment or post-progression treatment with osimertinib. Well, this is something where we need more data, we need to explore, because the resistance situation after osimertinib is very difficult. We do see a couple of resistance mechanisms which we haven't understood completely by today. There we need additional data, but on the bottom line, this is one of the few trials showing a benefit in survival for a new drug and I think this is of clinical value.